Welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today is Friday. Friday. Your girl's been down bad all week. So this is my first time picking up the camera. But as you can see, I have a different scenery. I was tired of bringing y'all in my kitchen. So I brought you to a new kitchen. Madison's kitchen. <laughs> I'm dead. We're making pizza today. So pizza, wine, and yap. That's that's the vibes today. I'm really really excited because I haven't made pizzas in a minute. Oh, she gave me some water. Sweet girl. Excited. <laughs> Let's do this. this. Thing on. Okay, so we have some witches brew. Focus, focus. Witches brew. They were letting us try this at Trader Joe's today. So let's drink some of that. It's like a spiced red wine. Cheers. Delicious. And white wine glass for Naomi. She has a rose that is a blend of two red grapes, Malbec and Syrah. So it's more like an orange wine, in my opinion, than a rose, but that's just me. <laughs> so let's try this and rate it 1 through 10. Now, let's try her wine. Lovely. I really like it actually. Usually she likes sweeter wines and I don't like them, but this one is pretty good. Thank you all for listening. I am training to become a Psalm. I'm not, but I'm thinking about it, so. All right, let's explain what we have going on here. The pizza sauce, some basil, garlic powder, oregano, red pepper flakes, duh. Bell peppers, onions, mushrooms, spicy Italian sausage, peps, mozz, some pesto, arugula, blue cheese, not sure why, and these <laughs> pizza flatbreads. I've done enough, I feel like I'm a YouTuber. Welcome to the game. <laughs> it's good. I it's here and ready. Not bad. Not my speed, but I know it's mine. It's not so Sunday, Sunday, fun day. Thursday, I went to this DJ, like this apartment. The DJs are doing the apartment DJ session things and I really wanted to go. So this DJ that I know out here, he invited me to one that he was doing. So Madison and I went and it was so fun. Like everyone had a good time. I thought it was gonna be like, everyone like not really coming out their shells really. Um, but no, everyone like literally danced the whole time. I thought it was gonna be like awkward, but it was not awkward at all. Everyone had a great time. Be that involved unless you hear something that you actually like. Be involved. You know, just act like you would if you actually, you know, yeah, yeah. vibe it by yourself. Like, act like sure. the not on. You feel me? So, somebody can have a bottle there, somebody can go on the floor, the bathroom, whatever you need it. Yeah. We on. Um, stop. We good. Stop. Chill. We on. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thursday and then Friday I just stayed home Saturday yesterday I celebrated Danny she's my old dance captain when I was in college and she just moved to DC so she had her birthday celebration here so I went to that yesterday that was really really fun and wholesome and cute and then afterwards I went to St. X and I turned up like I love St. X if St. X has no fans I'm dead 
Today is Saturday and Madison and I, we are taking the Metro. <laughs> now, as you guys may or may not know, I don't usually take the Metro. And this is exactly she why. She has to put money on hers. <laughs> oh, see, look, I can add it. moment bought a Cajunada ticket so I'm going to the Cajunada concert tonight I'm about to get ready to go to Madison's place now so we can head over there because it's like an hour away from here so I'm going to that concert tonight I'm really excited at first I thought his name was K Tranda for the longest earlier this morning we did get brunch um, and it was like very very calm very cute um, not anything too crazy I wanted to vlog but also I was on some chill type of timing but that's all the updates for this weekend or like these last couple days because I know I haven't really been chatting to the vlog but I have been getting content and moments or whatever so that's all I have to say so let's go to the concert let's go have some fun start of a new work week yesterday i did go to the kitchen on a concert it was a little bit dead like it was a little bit dead but i only think it's because i live in dc it was an hour away from dc like it was not close to dc at all and you know people have work tomorrow well work tomorrow but today technically people have work today so i don't think that they were as lively like if it was on a friday or a saturday he would have had that whole place jumping but it just wasn't as lively. I still made the most of it. My body hurts from dancing yesterday. I don't know what I did yesterday, but the only reason why my body would be hurting like this is because Cage not up. I did get a package. It's not even anything that you guys would expect. When I got my Nespresso, I didn't have a lid. So I think I got my Nespresso like a couple months ago. And for this whole time, I haven't had a lid. I haven't even used this because it doesn't have a lid on it. And I'm just, I don't know. I was just like, I'll just wait till I get the lid. I'll just wait till I get the lid. And I procrastinated it. And my mom bought me a lid so ah, so excited i didn't even know that amazon sold lids a little bit of a tight fit but it'll do here's the lid i'm glad i had this so now i can froth my milk um for my coffee love that for me i love a little frothing situation also in true adult fashion um i have car problems so my car keeps giving me the low tire pressure warning thing and since I don't live in Pennsylvania anymore and I'm not even near a Wawa, I can't access like free air for my tires. So I gotta pay for air at the gas stations, which is like normal. I'm sure that's like normal, regular standard procedure. But get there, it's asking me for quarters. I don't even have quarters. It's also like in the middle of nowhere. So I just feel like a little bit unsafe. So my mom got me fast inflating, like portable inflator. So let's go put the air in my tire. This is so random, but this is literally my life, y'all. This is literally my life. And Ooh, fancy. Literally plug it into your cigarette lighter car adapter thing. Ooh, it comes in with a nice little bag, too. So you can, I can probably keep this in my car then. All right, so let's go downstairs and let's go put some air in my tire. The most exciting thing that's happening today. Hello vlog, today is Thursday, Thirsty Thursday. Madison and I are going to the Jaja African hair braiding play that's going on in DC right now. I'm really excited to go. I wanted to go a couple weekends ago, but the tickets were like astronomically a lot of money. So I was just like, you know what, forget it. I guess I'm not gonna go see it. But I guess this week is theater week, so the tickets are cheaper. So we're going to that tonight. We're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory before. Ah, why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? No, I let her go there. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. I took my time this morning. I had a nice slow morning, but I have not eaten. I just uploaded my Brazil vlog, so if you haven't watched that, 
Go check it out. It's up. It's lit. It's ready. It's live. So go check it out. I'm gonna put it in the cards up above. So I've been working on that this morning. I do want to eat. Okay, we're gonna cook breakfast together, and we'll go to the play later today. So let's get into it. and ready for dinner it's a fit i just have on this satin shirt and i put on like a little lace bra to like do a little peek through and then i just have on these capris i really didn't know what else to wear honestly i'm wearing these lace shoes to match with the lace bra so that's the look that's the vibes i think madison just texted me that she's outside so let's go Hello vlog. Today is Monday. It is a holiday and I'm with my family. We are going apple today. Look at our view. Who is this diva? Say hi, Davey. Say hi. Say hi. He's a no. The vlog nation. Madison, come here. Vlog nation's coming. Madison, vlog nation. Vlog nation, it's vlog nation. <laughs> Yeah, Say cheese! Xavier! Say James! I'm ready now. in the house. Why do I need a bag of hot dogs for? Vlog Nation! Say hi! Say hi! this way. Matsu is row 16. Golden Delicious 18, 32, 33, 53. I'm vlogger now. Me influencer, me big no, time influencer. I have it right here. Me big time influencer. Mama, me big time influencer. Okay. <laughs> see it. Vlog Nation, I'm back. No, you struggling, girl. Uh oh, I'm back again. Welcome on, we gotta get an eating. How's it going? Number one big bag on the run. In the middle of the aisle. <laughs> Rare. Look at this rare, <laughs> rare exotic species. This this apple is called a pink lady, I think. <laughs> a pink lady. Bring your child to work day, so she brought me to her job. And now we are in New York City in the fashion district trying to find some fabric for my Halloween costumes. So come with us. <laughs> come with us. <laughs> Today is Thursday. It's my last day home, so I'm spending it with my auntie and her children. And we're going to this bagel place in Princeton that has pumpkin bagels. Saw it on TikTok, 
and she knew exactly where to go so that's what we're trying this morning so let's see what is hitting info <laughs> Bacon chili butter. Mm. Are you saying, oh, you need to put it in your mouth? Yeah. This is so soft. Like, mm. I am a New Jersey baby. Tastes test. Oh, nice. Number two. Mmm. back at home honestly like it really flew by and I'm gonna be going back home in a bit to shoot my Halloween looks but I have to get everything together I gotta do my hair all those things like I really had to sit down and figure out my costumes I literally have all this stuff that I need to take off my car it's f birthday gifts it's literally my clothes from the week what else is it over here my Halloween costumes all my winter stuff like I brought all my winter stuff from home like my Uggs my scarves everything because it's getting cold outside we literally jumped to winter we didn't have any fall i got a couple packages let's open them up and see what they are i also want to show you guys what i got for my birthday i got some covid tests they're free it's the u.s postal service i think you can sign up for these online these are just good to have honestly like it's getting colder outside the weather is weathering i'll put the link down below if you're interested <gasps> So I got a Cricut Joy for my birthday and my grandma bought me like a whole bunch of Cricut stuff. So silver iron on. And we also have a portable trim trimmer replacement. I gotta really like sit down and play around with my Cricut a little bit. This last package, I'm almost positive, is these pants that I got off the Depop from my Halloween costume. And it is these Gearbod. Gearbod. This is for my Halloween costume. But this is huge, like literally huge on me. Like, I don't know if this is gonna work. Yeah, like, literally look at the back. Like, I think these are like a men's like 36, so I don't even know if it's like worth getting it tailored because I don't want to mess with 30 of the pants. Like, honestly, I just need it for a Halloween costume. Whoever else wants it can have it after. I don't really care. Literally sitting on my floor right now because I have so much stuff that I need to put away. It is Howard homecoming weekend, okay? H U. I didn't go to Howard, but since I live in DC, I mean, I'm gonna partake in the festivities. Unfortunately, my actual homecoming for the school that I actually went to was also this weekend, but they had an alumni weekend in DC back in May. So I had my, I had my fix, I had my feel of seeing the people that I went to school with, so I don't feel too, too bad about it. And yeah, I'm excited because I actually live in DC. I know I know people now. Like I went to Howard Homecoming before. This was back in like 2019, and I didn't know anybody here. So it, we were literally just walking around aimlessly, heads like chickens with their head cut off. This time I feel like I might be a little bit more like situated. And I might actually have like a lot more fun because I actually live here and know people here. So I actually know a couple people that went to Howard as well. Before we get into the fun and the festivities, I have work today. I also want to get all this stuff put away, and I also got a whole bunch of birthday gifts from my family. So I want to show you guys what they got me but I'm gonna do that after I take these things down because I want to start unpacking a little bit so let's get to the unpacking unloading I have to also return this cart so let's just get into it yo bro who got you smiling like that like got for my birthday and a little bit of other things that I got because I literally went ham shopping for Halloween stuff home stuff and my birthday gifts so let's rapid fire 
what I got for my birthday. Starting off super very ultra strong, we have ah, the control vinyl and we also have the trap sole vinyl. I don't know if you guys know this, like I've never done like a tattoo tour or nothing on my channel, but I have a trap sole tattoo and I also have a control tattoo. So definitely my favorite albums of literal all time so i'm so excited for these i really can't wait to get a bar cart so i can actually like and like a tv stand like i have still have decorating to do so i don't know where i'm gonna put these right now but they have to absolutely have to have to have to be on display also someone that's really really big into game nights like anybody that knows me knows i take game nights very very seriously so i got ox god i don't know if you guys have ever played this it's really really fun and then i also got tapple we didn't play this on saturday so basically it's like an alphabet game the topic was cereal you literally hit f and you say fruit loops so that's how tapple works it was really fun i cannot wait to play this for like a game night or something sister also got me an essence another essence magazine i am collecting them um, there's so many vintage magazines that I want but I am so excited to have another one to add to my collection this is like a big major major gift I got a Cricut Joy if you know me you know I love to make DIY stuff like I love to customize something I love to do something myself so my mom got me this Cricut Joy it's basically a Cricut machine just like a miniature version but it still does all the things that a regular Cricut does so so excited to have this I am literally about to be putting this to use for my Halloween costume so we'll see this in action in this vlog cannot wait I got a towel warmer I was really really excited for this you know you're an adult when you get excited for big home purchases like home appliance purchases like this like I can not wait to use this all the gifts that I got I was like dang like I really need to get my apartment together like it's almost been it's about to be a year and I like still have just the basics I also got this Cricut Joy accessories kit so it has a whole bunch of cutting things in there it also has like vinyl in here as well so I'm really excited to use this and play around with it so this is the stuff that I got for Halloween it's just this white corset got this from Amazon it's from my cowboy Carter costume and then I also got these white shorts from Windsor. I got this LA hat. Can you guess what I'm gonna be for Halloween? And then I got these white shorts. This is from my Shakari Richardson costume. So I'm gonna literally put USA on the on the butt. I also got these white cowboy boots. My family also got me some Eagles gear, like in true Naomi fashion. I'm an Eagles fan. So they got me this Eagles pillow, super cute. And then my mom also got me this Eagles travel pillow. So definitely gonna be using this when I'm traveling. Also from Shein, I got these chain earrings. Got some silver bangles. Bra. I got two of these because I didn't know which one was going to fit. Also for my Halloween costume. This is the sports bra that I'm going to put the USA on. These are a pack of underwear. I am going to do a DIY. So I have to order this eyelet making kit because I want to put like um, rings in the sides of this thong. So while I was home, I got a couple things from Bath & Body Works. Nothing too crazy. Just some wallflowers and some candles because need that this case for my Cricut so I could I think I could put all the accessories in here and everything so it has like places to put like the pens has a cutting mat I think the Cricut joy goes there and all the other accessories and stuff go there so that's all the stuff that I got Woo! that was a lot I also got a PR package from CoverGirl but I'm gonna open that on my Instagram so be sure to follow me there but I have to get clean all this stuff up <laughs>
today is Monday, Howard Homecoming weekend. Um, let's just say it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Like, I don't even want to get into it. Maybe one day I'll give a story time and I'll laugh about it, but this weekend was rough. I ain't even gonna lie to you. To get my mental straight, I literally just cleaned my entire apartment. And it was like one of those cleans where like cleaning like drawers and reorganizing things like it was one of those cleans like it was that bad it was that bad no there was some really high moments though like umd's homecoming was really really fun i didn't go to any howard events technically i don't think but yeah it was very lit in dc like lines outside the wazoo of every single bar club place you could think of ticket prices 40 dollars. it was insane but i got all this cricket stuff I want to like unbox it and, and I do want to start on at least one of my Halloween costumes today so I'm gonna do that just to like get my mind and energy right I'm so sorry if this is like low energy right now like but this is real life I can't even lie to you so let's unbox my Cricut Joy and let's get some DIY let's get in our DIY back okay why I'm doing this on the ground I couldn't even tell you looks like some ASMR moment Mm -hmm. Bye. Ooh. Wow, she really is so cute. Open me. Give me some vinyl samples inside of the box. And this is like the warranty stuff. And then I also got a standard grip mat in there. Super cute. We're really in our DIY bag, okay? with my Cricut a little bit I'm around with the size of like how I want the letters to be on the sash so I just used the vinyl that they gave me because I didn't want to mess up <laughs> the expensive vinyl that I was given I got these tools I got so much Cricut stuff it's lovely hello vlog I'm literally coming to you live and crusty on this Thursday evening because I just took out all of my braids. Literally, it took me all day. I've literally been taking out my braids since 8 o'clock. I like rushed to like get it done before happy hour because me and Madison, we just came from happy hour at El Presidente, my favorite place in DC. And now it's 8 o'clock and I just finished taking out my hair. I'm about to do a little bit of a pre-poo like literally it's so nasty and dirty like you already know how it is when you take out your braids the best braid out of your life but like it looks like insane so i need to wash it really 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 bad i need to wash it really good too because i'm gonna do a silk press i just wanted to get on the camera and update y'all on what the heck is going on because it's halloween weekend it's the part one of halloween weekend because there's gonna be another part two next weekend so yeah, I'm trying to get all my costumes and stuff ready and in the works so that way you guys can see what I'm going for. So I'm going to do that tonight. After I finish washing my hair, I'm going to let it air dry a little bit and then I'm going to uh, blow dry it for real for real. In the meantime of me doing that, I'm going to be showing you guys me making my costumes because it's time. It's time to make it. I'm procrastinating. I've been procrastinating. I have all the things I need, so I need to get to it and stop playing. Anyway, let me turn on my tunes and let's wash this Hello vlog, today is Friday Friday. Tonight I'm in the lab cooking up, cooking up. I got all my cricket stuff literally laid out in front of me because I'm getting to work. Like I have procrastinated and making my costume so bad. Oh, let me show you guys what I made yesterday. My first cricket project. So it's just this glitter iron on vinyl onto this sash. It's super cute. I'm not done yet. I still have to add the ruffles, obviously. But I did this last night and it came out super cute. Right now I'm trying to make my Team USA uniform. My other costume is going to be Sha'Carri Richardson. So right now I'm in my Cricut. I got my vinyl here. 
I don't know if you guys can see. I got my caffeine <laughs> and the Cricut software right now, playing around trying to figure out how this is gonna work because the top has a um, zipper on it. So now I have to like split the, basically the S for USA and figure out like how I'm going to finesse that. Let's watch me make this Sha'Carri Richardson costume because this is actually quite hilarious. excess vinyl on the iron on pieces so now it's time to actually iron it on to the shirt i'm the most afraid of the sports bra top but honestly we're just gonna have to make it do what it do i'm gonna cut these out individually let's see what it's giving on the actual sports bra Look how cute it came out. Okay, here's the top. I did melt the zipper, but it's okay. Um, and then here's the bottoms. Super cute. Hello vlog, I am back. Today is Saturday. Today is also the day of Madison's annual Halloween party. I'm so excited. This morning I discovered a cute, very adorable library near my house. It's literally like a 10, 15 minute walk. So cute. Went there to get this um, printed because ah, it's gonna go on my costume. Now, I couldn't find this like template anywhere. You know, I made this myself in Canva, like literally had to finesse this. So really, really excited for this. And I'm also working on the rest of my Victoria Monet costume. And I'm trying to put rings in the underwear like so like this, because in the picture, in her original outfit, she also has like rings in her underwear so i want to be accurate i already started punching holes on this side so i want to show you guys how i'm doing it on the other side you adjust the hole to the size that you want so they have a couple different sizes on here that's exactly why i got this because this one has the multiple sizes i know they all right it creates a little hole these are called grommets and this is what i'm going to use to make the ring design so you just literally push these in i'm just going to do these all in one go and I'm gonna flip all these over. All I literally have to do is put it in, press it down. Like so, like that. Hello everyone, I am home. I am back home now. I literally went home for a couple days to shoot my Halloween looks. They came out super cute. I'll insert some pictures on the side. I did a recreation of Victoria Monet's Oh My Mama looks. My grandma made my dress for me for the blue outfit. The red outfit, I got a lot of those things from Shein, and I got the pants off of Depop. And then for the Oh My Mama album cover, I just got some glasses off of Amazon. So it was a very, very low lift. Not too crazy, but still cute and fun. I had a great time. Like yesterday, when I was cutting the wig for um, the look with the blue dress, I was afraid because first of all, that's a good wig. But I knew I was going to wear that color ever again, so it's fine. I cut the bangs. I started cutting the bangs, and I was not trusting the process. I was like, what the heck is this? Like, this looks crazy. I also didn't have makeup on, and you know when you don't have makeup on, you end up feeling crazy. So once I put my makeup on, and I like actually like styled it, got my flat iron, got my hot comb, like it came out very, very cute. Like, cuter than I anticipated it being. And I think the pictures came out great. I'm going to post them in an hour. Everyone's asking where the looks are, where the looks are. I like to make people wait a little bit. <laughs> I like to make people wait. I like to let th I like to let them sweat on Halloween because they know I'm coming. And then right now I'm making my cowboy Carter sash. I'm a little bit annoyed because you can see the hot glue through the sash. 
obviously it's not the best quality sash so I'm not mad about it and this is not a main costume so it's very very simple to do I'll show you guys what I'm doing I just finished the red side so I'm about to do the blue side and I'm about to clean up my apartment because I have so much stuff from back home and then I'm going to curl my hair for my cowboy Carter look and get ready to go out for Halloween my second favorite holiday next to my birthday like everybody knows I love Halloween like I get down I don't play about Halloween okay but let me show you guys how I'm doing this ash It's Halloween. Um, I went to the store a little bit earlier to get some stuff for Madison and I to pregame. And I also want to make like some Halloween themed uh, drinks. So I'm going to test it out and try it out before she gets here. That's what I'm about to do. I'm really, really excited and hype. I think these are going to taste really, really good. So let's make these Halloween drinks together. Hello, I'm currently editing the vlog right now and I realized I didn't close it out but I had a blast during Halloween weekend. I had so much fun. I really enjoyed dressing up and all the good things so if you haven't checked out any of my Halloween looks, Go follow me on socials, Instagram and TikTok. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Stay tuned for the next vlog. This one was a long one, but this is basically my whole October jam-packed into one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.